What's up guys? Welcome to the live stream. I hope everyone can hear me because um, well YouTube doesn't do a that good of a job I would say at letting me know that I'm live so you guys let me know you guys let me know if you can hear me how's it going DJ I uh, hope everybody is safe I saw BW's electronic already in the chat and I saw Picoboo already in the chat so welcome guys so today we are in that weird loading room from the matrix and uh, we have their pink mat and we're gonna be doing a kit so uh, this is the kit in question it is a electronic dice kit so I don't know if it's actually random but it's a pseudo random at least dice kit it is based on the triple five timer five 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 NE555P probably. Yeah, that's this one here. And the CD4017, I believe. CD4017, it is. How's it going, Jimmy? Hopefully everybody is staying safe. Should probably turn on my soldering iron. So uh, this thing is silicone and very heat resistant uh, this thing is not this is just a piece of foam board so if I hit it with the soldering tip it could catch fire and that could be funny at least uh, for you guys it would be so yeah what do we start with guys I think I'm gonna start with the resistors so what do we have here uh, 10k 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 and 10k 10k so we have a whole bunch of 10k's here those must be the outputs from the CD4017 and I'm guessing these guys here are going to be the 10k resistors so what are these these are brown black black red with a brown tolerance so brown black is one zero black is another zero uh, red is um, with uh, you add two zeros so that's one zero 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 ten K so I'll get put these in not sure how long the stream is going to be but probably longer than this one kit so if you guys want to stick around I'm not sure what we're doing after but we're doing something So yeah, how's everyone dealing with quarantine? I feel like quarantine is what I was born to do. I don't much like going out in public too much. Um, a lot of my favorite companies have started to go free shipping on their stuff. Like for example, from where I live, it's not exactly far to go to Princess Auto, which is, I guess, uh, it would be Harbor Freight equivalent to you Americans. But it's not far to go there. But it's just awkward, you know? It's not highway all the way, it's zigzagging through roads. Beer after. Uh, actually, you know what? I could. I'm not working tomorrow morning, aside from having to do my own type of work. Uh, and I do have a beer left. One, maybe two beers left in the fridge. I don't drink very much, so it's been in the fridge for a long time. Does beer go bad? How long does it take to go bad? So, as I was saying, Princess Auto is now doing free shipping, and so I'm buying more from Princess Auto than I ever have before, because I never wanted to drive, you know, the 20, 30 minutes or whatever it is, especially in traffic to get like the, the stuff you can get for a few cents there, which you can get at a closer store for a few bucks. Um, so now I can order that stuff for free, which is fantastic. Here we go, just gonna populate these 10K resistors. Yeah, we do, bruv. We have tons of roads. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Canada is freaking huge. 
it's like gigantic. Take you like uh, I guess two and a half days of straight driving, no sleeping, no peeing, no refueling anything, to get from one coast to another. It is huge. Now, if you start going way up north, uh, it starts getting broken up, and you can't really make it by car. But uh, otherwise, yeah, we have roads. Well, I mean, I guess, you, yeah, you can't really count Quebec. They have roads, I guess, but it's more like potholes stitched together with asphalt. It's not really a road, you know what I mean, in Quebec. There's a game you play when you drive in Quebec, is you try to guess if the guy is drunk, driving, or um, dodging potholes. Sometimes hard to say. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess it, it can go. Is there should there be an expiry date on the can? We need a we need an expert here, like a pile of stuff or something. Cause maybe if there's a date on the can, then I can check that out. We'll give it a shot. I think the alcohol inside should uh, decontaminate it, right? Right? Makes sense. I don't I don't drink too much. When I do drink a rather hard liquor, I drink um, spiced rum and coke. Possibly. It's, uh, it's kind of a meme here that uh, Quebec has terrible roads. They know it too, like the residents of Quebec know it. It's no, it's no secret. It's fantastic because we have the Trans-Canada Highway basically one highway that links almost all of Canada together and uh, when you switch provinces there's an audible difference because each province is kinda responsible for the maintenance on their own highway so they gets redone at different times so there's literally like a hard line between the provinces on the highway Usually an expiration date printed on the can or the bottle. Interesting. Okay, well, you know, I might just go upstairs and get it. Because I did forget to drink water before I started. So I am a bit thirsty. Ooh, we got a 10 meg ohm resistor at some point. How's it going, Pico? I saw you in the chat before. I wasn't ignoring you. I was more like trying to sh troubleshoot a friend of mine's uh, PC. Okay, what's next? We have 4.7 meg ohm. We have 10 meg ohms over here. 470 ohm, 470 ohm, 470 ohm, and 1K. So I'm guessing these are the 470s. What colors do we have? Oh man, I have a hard time seeing. Again, this is not enough light for me. Let's see. Uh, yellow, purple, black, black. So that would be four, seven, zero with a times one multiplier, 470 ohms. I'm starting to learn my colors by heart. Okay, let's put the purple bands all the same way. Yeah, go ahead, Pico. What are your questions? I, I'm. Let me be clear. I'm not an expert at sim racing, so I may not have the correct answers for you. But uh, yeah, I do. I do plan on building my cockpit, sim cockpit. And at first, it'll have nothing to do with electronics, so I might make it as a Patreon-only video. When I start adding electronics to it, then I'll I'll probably start releasing those videos to the public, because um, I don't want to alienate um, my regular viewers 
and I still want to give my Patreon stuff to watch, so, you know, that's probably going to be how it's going to happen. The cockpit's going to be mostly wood build, so not very electronics-y. Uh, today it is a electronic dice kit. You see the dice pattern here? Based on a NE555P and a CD4017. Alright, what else? Alright, so we got the same colors here. We got uh, that purple, yellow, purple, yellow, orange. Uh, so that would be 7 4. Right? Purple is 7, and yellow is 4. Am I getting this right? Dang it, I need more light. Give me a second. This might actually be orange, orange, black, yellow. So that would be a uh, three, three, zero with four zeros. Uh, so 3.3 meg? Does that make any sense? I feel like maybe they wanted a 4.7 meg. What were you thinking, China? No, it's definitely orange, orange. Black, yellow, purple. Let's let's measure this one. Uh Yeah, but purple is 7. Yeah, I would uh, I would be down with that gadget. You should design that. You know what? If if we're talking frankly, uh, between you and I, Gadget, you're the one who can design that kit. So of course I put my streaming setup sort of on top of all my bench top, bench top junk so I don't have any leads. Resist Beyonce. There is too much resistance. I don't think we're gonna be able to measure this because honestly, it's like huge. Three, three. So I was right, yeah, orange, orange, black, yellow. 3.3 .3 meg. There is no slot for 3.3 .3 meg. There's 4.7 meg. And it looks like 10 meg. So maybe this is supposed to be for the 4.7? Let's put that aside. Let's check this guy. Alright, so this one is yellow purple. So that's 4.7. So yellow purple black yellow. So 4.7.0 uh, four zeros. So that's 4.7 meg right there. Yeah. Well, good thing, because I think I have a 10 meg. I don't have 4.7 meg on my stock of parts.
Gadget, you're a beer drinker. If I have a can of beer in my fridge from an uh, unknown date, how safe is it to drink? Because uh, I think this is what's going down after the stream. We'll see. Maybe during the stream. Alright. What do we got? This one looks like brown, black, black, green. So 100. Zero, zero. Um, five zeros. What's that? 10 meg? That must be the 10 meg. Yeah, 10 meg. That's true, I can solder them in series. I have something in the in the mega ohm range for sure. Then you guys will make fun of me for messing up the kit, even though I did no such thing. It was a Chinese supplier. Okay, and now we only need 1k, which I know I have tons of. Which is good. So I just got a free 3.3 uh, meg resistor, I guess. So this one is brown, black, black. Brown. So brown, black, black, brown. So one zero zero, and add a zero. One k. It's a it's a steam whistle beer. If that helps, does that help? It's from. Lake Ontario, isn't it? I mean, I guess I'm down to try it. I just don't want to get super sick because uh, I think our healthcare system is being taxed enough as it is. Six months to two years? Well, we might be pushing the limits of that, but I'm sure, I'm sure we're close. This is the, this is the kit. If someone feels like uh, translating this for me, there you go. Go nuts. Uh oh, where did I put my solder? Solder is underneath this setup. I'm trying not to burn myself as I reach underneath. Ah, finally. Straighten this thing up. <laughs> Not a fan of steam whistle? Sounds good, BWs. I'm gonna... So the plan is to have somebody, realtor, probably, take a look at the house and let me know what it's worth as is and if we feel, the wife and I, like we could fix the house um, for less money than we'll profit by doing so then we will do so. You know what I mean? So if we have to start renovating um, then, then we're gonna consider taking the popcorn ceiling out, putting new floors in, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not a see. I'm not a super big beer connoisseur. I guess I'm not into wine either. So it's kind of hard for me to tell what's good and what's not. Uh, I just know that stuff like Molson Canadian sends shivers down my spine when I drink it, and I don't think that's the that's the proper reaction. Like, I don't think that's what they were going for, you know. So that's that's one thing. I kind of like Corona sometimes, but not not the virus, the the beer. But it's really expensive. It doesn't, doesn't like it's still beer. It doesn't taste great. I guess my favorite would just be, uh, you know, Captain Morgan's and 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 Pepsi. That's that's what I would get.
yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll talk to them, uh, Gadget. I probably, prob I don't know, it's a bit dirty, but I, I might, uh, I might get a couple realtors to come take a look. I know it's kind of, kind of shitty to get more than one opinion because they're all going to want the job, right, of selling the house. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I can get one a bottle of wine and take a look or something. Yeah, you know, again, Crown Royal, to me, it tastes unremarkable. I know a lot of people that like Crown Royal, but to me it tastes unremarkable, so I'm good. Uh, I like um, Sailor Jerry Spiced Rum. It was That was really good. And when I bought it last, it was like $3 more expensive than the bottom shelf stuff it was on sale so it was well worth it and for the honestly like I probably drink once a year so yeah you know never loved the bed beverage virus beer <laughs> yeah you know what? I'm, um, I have to tell you guys. I'm a tradesperson. Like, honestly, I'm an automotive technician, I guess is the proper term, but people know me as a mechanic. Um, I really, I'm not, I don't lust for fancy things, really. Um, I really, like, I find Starbucks and, and whatever coffee too, uh, too bitter. Mind you, I don't like Tim Hortons either. It's, I feel like that's... I know I'm not allowed as a Canadian to say I don't like Tim Hortons, but it tastes like they made it out of uh, dirty dishwater. So I don't like Tim Hortons either. I do really like McDonald's coffee, though. But, yeah, I find, like, the fancy... Uh, fancy coffees, they're, like, over... over-brewed, over... you know, I don't know... over-fermented. have a harsh taste to them. I'm sure it tastes like workers' freedoms, but I really don't know. That's another thing about realtors, is they are purely commission-based. And I um, really don't like that, because they make money off of me losing money. You know what I mean? It's like a zero-sum game. There's there's only a certain amount of money you can get for your house, and the uh, the more your realtor makes, the less you make. It's, it's weird. It's just just weird. Uh, do you do you like Tim Hortons G Gadget Reboot for real? I found that since like oh nine ish. They're not really get that good. Maybe 2010. And I know like people line up every single day, get their Tim Hortons coffee. They need it, you know, that routine. But for me, it's all about McDonald's. Also drink, uh, make, make coffee at home. Which is unfortunate because my wife hates the smell of coffee. But, um, and it's like 90% of my diet is coffee. So, you know, it's a thing. Yeah, Dean, see? See, you know what I'm talking about. Somebody super chat for Dean. Can we send super chats to the, to the people talking in chat? Definitely every Tim Hortons tastes different, 100%. Uh, it depends how many dishes they've done, I guess, in the water that they use to uh, brew the coffee. You know, some, some shifts, you, you'll get a guy who's too lazy to do dishes, and then the coffee won't taste the same because there's not enough, uh, not enough dish water to go around. Have to dilute it too much. 
is this one? There we go. Yeah, so my my coffee, because I'm trailer trash. This this is the stuff. Uh, Nescafe, if you need to sponsor somebody, hit me up. I, I go through this Costco size thing every few months. It's a lot of cups of coffee. So hit me up, uh, Nescafe. I have a so so we had a tenant before this tenant I guess, and uh, she was given a free um, Keurig machine. And when she moved out, she left it here. But basically, I use that Keurig machine to heat up a single cup of water, and that's instant coffee. So I just put the instant coffee in. It's good to go. It cost me like pennies to make coffee at home. It's great. It's gonna cost me a little bit more because of all the electricity usage, but other than that. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Dean, where have you been all my life? I need you on, on my side when I have these arguments. Yes, McDonald's is the most consistent, 100%. Also, their coffee doesn't taste like butthole. So there's that too. Some would say that's even more important. Do you use an actual K cup, like the not not the reusable ones, like the the straight up like environmental killing ones? I'm not judging. I'm just uh, just wondering how much coffee costs you because if you use K cups all day, that's a small fortune. Yeah, you know, I think in the U.S. Honestly, 7-Eleven coffee is probably the same as uh, Tim Hortons coffee, or maybe it's even better. Who knows? We used to have 7-Elevens here. I think they're all gone now. Maybe in Toronto they still have some, but not, not here. I remember when I was a kid, this would be uh, in the late 90s, I guess, mid-90s, I would go to... Uh, no, late 90s. I'd go to the 7-Eleven to buy Pokemon cards. Well, I guess I don't know where the how much the K-Cups cost where you're from, but uh, here, a really good price for K-Cups is about 20 cents, 20 cents per K-Cup. So it's not bad, but it's still not as cheap as the instant coffee, because uh, this guy here, uh, how many cups does that claim to make? Uh, I don't know. Huh. But I probably get hundreds of cups of coffee out of this guy, and it's nine dollars, uh, maybe ten dollars of tax. When it's on sale at Costco, obviously. Hey Solomon, yeah, I'm building this. If you can read, um, you can read Mandarin, kanji, whatever it is. Yeah, this this thing. So it's a uh, yeah, it's electronic dice. I guess electronic die. It's a single, only one. There's no not two dice on here. All right, so now I got to solder this, but uh, got to be careful because the these pins are in plastic. So if you pardon the pun, this could get dicey. Oh, for me it's uh it's it's instant coffee, so it's it is only one cup at a time. That's why I love the Keurig machine. I just don't put a K cup in it and it just dispenses hot water. It's great. Uh, it might be simplified for some people, but not for me.
getting really thirsty, guys. Might have to break out that that beer a little early. Either that or just get water. But it's not the same. You guys can't relate to to a man drinking a glass of water. You can definitely relate to a man drinking a beer. Hopefully I won't mess this kid up. There we go. Fresh grinder. Huh. Fresh grinder at the at the gas station. See Canada's nuts, man. We have Tim Hortons in some gas stations. And sometimes those Tim Hortons in the gas station are across the street from an actual just regular Tim Hortons location. Like it, it is absolutely nuts. And I'll tell you, um if you if you buy a uh, franchise for Tim Hortons, there's like no way you're losing money. I don't think I've heard of a single f uh, Tim Hortons franchise go under. They are like, you can have as many franchises as you want and you won't be losing money. It's crazy. I know small towns with populations like in the four digits and they have like three Tim Hortons. It's always busy. It's crazy. Absolutely nuts. Oh man. I want a rum and soda. Do I have a rum and soda? Guys, would you would you be upset if I uh, buzzed off for a second to see if I had uh, if I had rum? Let me know in the chat if if uh, you'd you'd go away from the uh, from the screen if I if I took off for thirty seconds looking for alcohol. All right, what's next? Uh, we may do some connectors, maybe some caps, maybe some transistors. Alright, what do we have for transistors? This is hard to read. Oh man, my lack of light is killing me here. So we got S8050 on this one. S8050 on this one. Thanks, Dean. S8050 on this one. S8550. The wife is actually out of town, so no. S8550. Okay, be back one second, guys. I do not have any rum left. I only have the steam whistle. So, see? Still sealed. I don't see a date anywhere on here. I hope that it doesn't say C012 because it's 2012. Oh, what does that say? 
No idea. MA2719? Is that March or May 27th, 2019? Well, don't think there's anything floating in it. Uh, should be fine. Yeah, tastes like beer. There we go. All right. I wish uh, I wish pile of stuff was here to see this because uh, he'd be proud. Having a beer with my electronics. Okay. Also. I've had a few sips now, or a sip, so if I mess this up, it is not my fault. It is the alcohol. 80-50 goes here. <clears throat> I kind of wish I had rum, because for the first time in like a year, I feel like having rum. But um, it's not like I'm going to go out and buy one gonna have to just happen maybe around uh, Christmas time I'll have rum all right so this one it says Q1 here and it doesn't say a number because it's rubbed off but I'm guessing it's the S8550 all right I don't even know if I'm going to finish that beer. I'm really, uh, you know, I have become a non-beer drinker, really. We have a brand new Dollar General in the village with only 300 people. Another 5 to 10 miles away. That's weird. You know what's funny? I Like, poor people always shop at the dollar stores. And... It feels like there's a negative connotation with dollar stores. I freaking love dollar stores. Mind you, I'm not I'm not exactly rich either. But like it's incredible how some things you'll see at the dollar store for a buck here in Canada, a dollar store isn't really a dollar. But you'll see something at the dollar store for a buck fifty and you see the same thing at Walmart, the exact same brand and everything. It'll be like four fifty. And you're kind of thinking like, Walmart, what are you doing? Know your audience. Like Walmart was supposed to be the bottom of the price bracket. But it turns out, some things at the dollar store are far cheaper. No, she wouldn't hide. Uh, she's not interested in my rum at all. She likes her... Um, Actually, I think, I don't know what her favorite is. Maybe a raspberry sourpuss or um, some sort of like tangerine or something like that type of vodka. Again, she, she is like, as much as I'm not a beer drinker, uh, she really doesn't drink beer. Yeah, I have to agree with you, Chemical. It's uh, It depends on, on the owner, I'm guessing. Like, what they get in and for what price. How's it going, me? I think, uh, I think I've got way more viewers today than I usually do. If you guys can go ahead and hit the, hit the like, if you're enjoying this. Um, it lets YouTube know that uh, other people should come join. So if you're watching and you enjoy it, hit the like if it's not too much trouble. There we go. Oh, peach schnapps. I forgot about peach schnapps. So they were accusing you, Vero, of stealing the rum. But I told them I severely doubted that you would even go close to it.
if you guys want uh, live entertainment, most of the week, um, Verowak is online. Twitch.tv slash Verowak. Go and check out her stream. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. I, I saw the, the like like button go uh, go up like crazy. Appreciate it. I know it's a pain in the butt. You get all these uh, YouTubers telling you to hit the like button, but I'll tell you, it really helps. Uh, like even internally, YouTube tells us in the Creator Studio that um, that hitting that uh, telling you guys to hit the like button is important because for their algorithm, it's important. It's uh, it kind of sucks that that's what it is, but that's what it is. So Twitch isn't for everyone, uh, Scott. It's not for everyone, but um, if you like the format, if you like the live format, it's a good place because even if you say, well, I'm not into video games, um, there is sections for just like people doing art, or people like doing uh, crafts like uh, soldering or whatever. So there's, there's kind of something there for everybody. So if you've never tried it, twitch.tv, give it a shot. Don't tell YouTube I sent you because I think they want you to stay on YouTube. But uh, other than that, yeah, there's a little bit of something for everybody. I feel like YouTube's not doing a good job at their um, live stream UI, like on, on my end. Twitch does it way better. <clears throat> oh yeah, what does your son play? Something cool like uh, Terraria or something like easy and boring like they are billions. And I know at least two people watching are just cringing from that comment. But it's your it's your son, if he's young, probably Fortnite, Apex, Minecraft, Call of Duty, something like that. If you have a cool talent, I think you should be uh, you should be streaming it too. Yeah, actually, I do that too. I hit the the like on uh, on videos. Like like for example, when Pile of Stuff puts out a video, hit that like right away, because like what he's gonna make a bad video? Yeah, right. So him, Gadget Reboot, another maker, then you know Clive. Um, Julian Eilid. It's all it's all people you know are gonna make good videos. Okay, just comps. Could be lots of things then. Could be League of Legends, could be if he's uh, com playing competitive, it could be a lot of things. I agree. YouTube has been getting a bit complacent. And like I know it's terrible to say, but like honestly, serving video is too, it's too expensive. Like to move 4K video across the internet like that all day to millions of people, it's just it's so expensive. Store it, right? Then they have to now they have to moderate it because people can't be trusted and they post all sorts of terrible graphic things. And um, also to moderate like to the whims of people who are buying ad space, right? Like Audi doesn't want to. Audi doesn't want to advertise on somebody's channel that uh, I don't know goes around beating uh, un like um, homeless people, right? That makes sense. So they have to moderate for all this stuff. So I I understand like YouTube is not doing fantastic job uh, of communicating with the creators, but they're not really there for the creators. They really have to try to turn a profit at some point, and the only way to do that is to, you know, comply to the whims of the publishers and the people who pay for ad space. So I get it. I don't agree with it, but I get it.
YouTube was also the first ones to allow you to monetize in a legit fashion like this. I mean, some websites, I think Justin.tv when it started, which if you didn't know, Justin.tv was the uh, company that was bought out to build Twitch. Uh, I think they allowed donations, but they didn't let you, like they didn't organize ads for you. You know what? That's that's actually really important too. I'll tell you, um, like right now, and, and please don't take this as an excuse to donate money to me, but uh, like right now, I'll tell you that uh, YouTube takes about a 30% cut on Super Chats, uh, but if you go on my Patreon, for example, they take a 5 to 10% cut at max, sometimes as low as 2%. So if you really want to support a creator, um, go onto their Patreon. Yeah, okay, but you can't can't hold a company accountable for a world war forever. You know? And on top of that Uh Oh, what do I game on? I game on mostly my PC. You know what's funny? The wife and I have gone through and have purchased over the years consoles. So I had a actually I played a lot on my PS two, but we bought a PS three one of us, either one of us or both of us, I'm not sure. And then uh, she bought a PS4, and she bought a Switch, a Nintendo Switch, and I'll tell you, no matter who buys it, and no matter what it's for, the consoles always end up collecting dust. So, PC for life. And yeah, uh, Patreon for sure. That's the That's the best place. I mean, I guess as the um, token white guy that I am, I can't really, I can't really say like you can't do this or that, right? Obviously, I don't know how other people feel about what happened, um, but I'll just say that um, you know, times change, people change. Hopefully, I'm missing a capacitor. And it might be on the floor. Could have sworn I had it at the beginning of the stream. So maybe I get a 3.3 mega ohm resistor for free, but I had to trade a capacitor for it. Your special gadget reboot, that's all I need to say. You could take that as a good thing or a bad thing. Oh. Found the capacitor. I really don't have a problem with the PlayStation. I just, uh, I guess I get tired of one trick ponies, you know? The, uh, the, it's just so limiting. Although, I have used the PlayStation controller on PC to play um, Steam games, and it works just perfectly. Like, I played uh, Hollow Knight with it. It was fantastic. Good thing it is, Gadget. Good thing it is. Oh, you know what? I have to say, like I, like I said, the PlayStation collected a lot of dust, but I really, really loved Gran Turismo 5 on uh, PS3, I guess. That was a fantastic game. It's weird huh, the, how the chips are upside down. They're facing downwards. Weird. Some negatives over on that side. And uh, plus, you don't want me in your race. I'm terrible at sim racing. I love playing, but uh, I'm really bad at it. I think, I think how I drive includes a lot of um, sort of 
a lot of my external senses because when I don't feel the car losing grip, um, like like tactically, I, I just I don't feel it, right? So I don't know what's going on. You know what? It does. I have to say, it does. It it would make a good YouTube box, um, but I have my old PC. I have a, right now. I have a an i7 8086K in my uh, as my main rig here. But before that, and before I won that processor for free, by the way, I was using a uh, quad core AMD Phenom, which was very old. And so when I retired it, it became my living room computer. So now it's a it's a home theater PC, basically. So I can do. Um, I I can watch YouTube on the in the living room, but I can also use it to store you know ripped uh, ripped movies. So I don't have to go find a Blu-ray player or anything. Yeah, Pico, I think I would place last as well, um, but I don't know if uh, you were listening when I said it last time, but uh, people online take this stuff a bit too seriously, and uh, I'm not, I don't really want to ruin someone's day that was like doing a serious race, you know, and then they, and then they, they lap me, and then I turn wrong, and then I crash into them, and then they start yelling at you. And I understand that, that really those people need to grow up at the same time, but you know, it's it's not my fun to ruin other people's fun, so I play against AI. Maybe eventually I'll get uh, I'll get good enough that I'll play just, you know, online. But right now I play against a computer. Yeah man, you're allowed to rip movies. What happens if you're uh, if your drive breaks, you know? So tell me, who was your favorite driver in uh, NASCAR 99? Oh man, you use words like Linux and then I get scared. I'm a Windows guy. Windows has a command line, but I stay away from it. I've actually, I'm actually like need to get my Linux game up because uh, another maker made me an image for my orange pie, and uh, soon enough I'll have to try it out. I'm not sure what it is, but if it comes from someone as good as another maker then it's got to be good. Richard Petty. I only know about Dale Earnhardt, both of them, so that's two, right? Counts as two. I know uh, Jeff Gordon, that's three. And I know uh, some dude, uh, Biffle, that's all I know. Not a, you know, out of all the racing things, I'm the least a fan of NASCAR. It's uh, and you know what? I'm almost just as much not a fan of uh, like F1. I'm not a big fan of purpose-built race cars. I like things that were adapted to race. Okay. So let's see. Simplified Chinese. Four point five to five volts. I understand NE555, I understand CD4017, I understand S1Q1, good stuff. So now, who thinks this is going to explode and who thinks it's going to work? Man, you guys are talking some some weird stuff in the chat that I don't understand. That's okay. I'll just Oh wait, I forgot one thing. I didn't solder the switch. I'll just pretend I understand what you guys are talking about.
I installed um, I installed Raspbian on my Raspberry Pi and uh, Armbian on the Orange Pi and I was able to open a web browser so there was that and then I was like oh well that was fun what's next no 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 I hope not if it was backwards though I wouldn't know so it's kind of a silly question I wouldn't purposely put it backwards what am I electro boom I wish if electro boom stopped by the chat that that's peak YouTube right there <clears throat> is it just me or is that beer making me more thirsty than actually just drinking water like I think not drinking anything would actually make me less thirsty all right well here it goes are we gonna power this at 12 and a half volts of course we're not I don't know if you can see. No, can't see. Roughly halfway done. No, I don't have a unibrow. I have a couple of hairs, a uh, couple of hairs that want to make it a unibrow, but it's not quite. When I'm working, though, my face is so freaking black that uh, I do have a unibrow, I guess. But then when I shower, it goes away. Working on cars sucks. <clears throat> 48 volts DC. Um, I think this thing only goes to 36 volts. What I will do, though, this is uh, up to 5 volts. I'll go 5 volts. Um, I'm going to take off the current limit, so if it blows, it really blows. I can't have my wife hold my hernia, she's not in town. Alright, well, here's uh, molten solder in your eye. Okay, we got a 5. That's good. I don't think it's working. Mm-hmm. Sort of a six. Something wrong. All right, let me get the uh, magnifying lenses out so we can see if we can fix this. Pulling eight milliamps. Yeah, let me take a look. Okay, got the. Whoa, what the? Something's going on. Okay, got. Anyways, got the lenses here, these guys. So I'm going to take a look at what I can see. Alright, what do we got? Well, this solder pad's not doing very well, but it should be enough. Yeah, look, it's slowing down now. Huh. It's freaking out, man. Okay, let's see. This 
So that's an 8550, that's correct. 8050, that's correct. 8050, that's also correct. 8050, that's also correct. 8550. So let's see if Q1 is supposed to be 8550. Um, yeah, Q1, 8550. Well, there's a 3.3 .3 meg. Where? Uh, R2, 3.3 .3 meg. R3 up there, R11, R5, 4, I don't see an R2, there's two empty pads here, is that it? What happens if we put R2 here, that we put that 3.3 .3 meg? Yeah, it looks like a cap that's taking a long time to discharge. So the 3.3 .3 meg is supposed to go between the base of 8550 and the positive end of the cap. So that's the positive end of the cap right here. That's it. That's a uh, okay. So this unlabeled pad here, there's nothing there. That must be this. It looks like it's an afterthought, the 3.3 .3 meg. There's no um, footprint for it, and in fact, the footprint's off for a regular uh, resistor. Actually, if, uh, you know what, if Junk from Work and I can get our stuff together, we are actually going to design, uh, the plan was to try to design a, a kit for speed building that when you buy all the components for it, like the, you know, you buy 100 LEDs, for example, the kit will only use like two or three or four, and next year's kit um, will use the same components so you can reuse, you know, just order once. There, let's see. Let's see if that's fixed it. The mystery component that wasn't friggin' labeled. You can check the thumbnail too. There's no label there. Alright. If that's what was wrong, I'm not uh I'm not taking the blame for that one. Not a chance. Alright, still got a five here. Let's see. Is it slowing down? It is slowing down. There we go. Six. Awesome. Next. Man, that takes a long time to wind down. And I'm guessing it's because, yeah, th this capacitor here, this guy at the end, has, yeah, this guy must be the discharge for that. So maybe if we actually put another another resistor in parallel, another 3.3 .3 meg, it'll go twice as fast or four times as fast. Come on. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Five. There we go. All right, guys. How about how about thumbs upping the stream for getting this thing working? Come on. One. 
that's literally without spending any money is the best way to support the channel is to thumbs up the um, thumbs up the stream yeah I use JLC um, this one here this PCB here is from JLC and I believe uh, uh, gadget uh, reboot uses uh, PCB way. So this here is what you get from uh, what's it called again? JLC. So I I don't have anything negative to say. It's just it, it looks great the quality is great the boards are super thick the cuts are are perfect the the silk screen is actually like razor thin and super clear so I only have good things to say about them but um, you know I, I don't I don't have any experience it's the only one I've I've put together is the only one I've ordered so yeah I can't tell you how they're gonna be in the long run but I'm happy with my order so there's that so because they're not sponsoring me or anything I'm going to put another um, build together uh, do I have an example of the build mm, yeah this guy whoops things falling everywhere so this guy here is a um, multi supply multi whatever power supply kit and um, I prototyped this but I'm gonna build this as a board and send it out and I'll probably use PCB way just because I've had positive experiences with uh, JLC but it doesn't mean I have to always use JLC you know what I mean I'm gonna try different board houses Don't uh, and don't don't forget when you're talking about like cheaper, it's typically like because of promotions. They're I think they're pretty much the same. I got so accustomed to buying stuff from China though that when you um, w when they say it's a five dollar set of boards. I tend to think it's five dollars but it's like there's also like seventeen dollars for shipping to Canada so you have to kind of put that in perspective too but yeah I'm not a I'm, I'm not a big shill for one or another company I'm just I just used JLC because that was the first one I uploaded to and next time I'm gonna try PCB way and we'll see how that goes One thing I, I don't want to do though is uh, JLC has easy EDA and I did not want to get locked into one board design package. So I went with KeyCAD which is open source and I think I'd rather have one software package um, that is open source and free and then I can send it to any board house whereas easy EDA if JLC wanted to they could lock it just to themselves and I don't know if they do or not but they could so I, I made sure to grab a neutral you know EDA or whatever yeah and actually uh, Julian Julian's project is fantastic and that's an example of a project that I would do if I was sponsored by a board house but I don't want to pay, you know, 25 bucks for a couple backplanes when I can just link a couple wires across, you know? I wish a board house sponsored me so I could just order uh, random boards from for random reasons, but for now, I guess I'll just have to deal with um, making stuff myself, which, <clears throat> if this... Uh, epidemic can just stop 
I've got these guys. I just got raw PCB material, and I've got these guys, which are supposed to be PCB markers. So there's the uh, fine tip end, and this is the thicker tip end. And I also have a Cricut vinyl cutter. So I'm itching to make my own PCBs, but ferric chloride is a lot harder to get a hold of right now because all the electronic stores are shut down. Oh yeah, that's another thing about uh, about combining shipping. I have about four designs I want to send out, so I have to actually get off my butt and make those four designs so I can combine the shipping on all those four. And thankfully, I don't work on like award-winning stuff, so I'm not concerned about you know, getting them to rip off my designs because I don't make anything super special. All right, so are you guys getting sick of the stream or should I build another kit? Leave it in the chat, let me know. Even so, we're getting to the uh, the AMA section of the uh, stream so if you guys have questions for me go ahead and shoot them in the chat and I will answer them as best as I can also just be aware that while I'm here I'm actually shirking my responsibilities I have to move stuff out of my car and into the garage but I'm doing this instead because this counts as being productive I see two keep buildings. All right. Well, I love I do love building kits. I need to order more though. That's fine, Gadget Reboot. Um, stop by whenever you want. I'll probably still be here. If I start a kit, I'm probably going to be here for like an hour or so. I don't know how many times I've got to tell you guys. The wife is out of town. So she could not unload the car. Alright, so this guy, a little bit braver now. We are going surface mount. Some of these things are through hole, but most of them are surface mount. So this is a very similar kit. But instead of having a four transistor arra arrangement to light up segments, um, this here literally just counts down the outputs and each LED is an output. A recipe for a shawarma? No. But uh, you and Chemical are the ones that I'm telling they have to go get shawarmas, so you guys should get on that. So the only thing that's bad about this is that my solder is way too big. Wait a second. So I gotta use this thinner solder, which is terrible. I hate this stuff so much. Oh yeah, Scott? What what's your LED board do? If you don't mind me asking. Okay. Um so I actually like doing SMD, by the way. Let's see if my iron is hot. I don't know if it's still hot. Is it burning this? Nope. Iron's cool. I'm going to try a different tip. Some of you guys really uh, rage when I bring out this tip for SMD because it's uh, so thick. Um, let's see. Solder tips.
And do I go really tiny? Like, do I go with a point? These are like tips that, as soon as I put this chisel on, I never use them. There you go, you guys get to see how the sausage is made. It's a little bit hot. Um, so, Pico, yes, you can drive to Ottawa. Uh, I know this because when we visited Nova Scotia, we drove from Chester, Nova Scotia to Ottawa in a single day. So, yes, you can. And, um, uh, Scott, I'm glad, actually, you've tried that. How did it, go how did it work out? Did it work out well? Are you now able to see underneath your, uh, for your, where your workbench is? Because I know that was a big deal for you. I actually I'm gonna have to put lights so I'm gonna I have two patreon only videos um, probably that are coming soon and by patreon only I mean patreon you know like month early uh, I have to mount my power bars on my new workbench and I have to create some lighting in there so if you're my patreon you're gonna see those probably a month in advance and also when I start working on my sim rig if you're a patreon you'll see that way in advance as well Oh yeah, the rubber just peels right off. It's not not too too bad. All right, let's see. I hate this solder, so no guarantees. Oh, let me get the lenses too. Gonna wear my headgear because I'm an old man. All right. Let's see if we can make this work. Oh man, there's so much less contact area. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm liking this one. This one as much as the uh, chisel tip. I guess it's soldered a little bit. Hey, Junk. Yeah, actually, Junk from work is a Patreon, so he's going to get to see it. I have a, uh, a seat from a Subaru Legacy GT, which uh, is going to be the basis of the sim rig. Uh, I didn't pick it. It was given to me for free, so I didn't say no. You know, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth like that, right? So, yeah. I do have solder paste, although it's extremely difficult to spread on such tiny pads. So let me see. The locating dot is here. Ouch, I got hot. Am I making a dog's breakfast out of this? I think I am. Ah, it's terrible. There's so little flux in this solder, I hate it. Are we having a, are we having an age pissing contest? Do you guys know how old I am? I don't know if I've ever mentioned how old I was. Uh, junk from work might know, um, and chemical might know. I don't think the majority of you know.
You know what? You guys were totally... The, the, you guys were wrong. The pointed tip sucks. I want my chisel tip back. This is terrible. Or maybe it's a solder. Let's let's try the other stuff. Whoa, that's a big old blob of solder. Where's my solder sucker? I am not 26. I guess uh, Verilwack would know my age. But not, not many people in here would know. Not that I really care, just that nobody really knows. All right. Well, I'm struggling with this. There we go. Much better. All right. Let's retack this one because it went really poorly. Can you guys hear me when I'm all the way down here? I, I'm a little far from the mic. There we go. That's a solder joint. I am, should I say my age? I don't know, I feel like, uh, I feel like it'd be a good riddle. But I, I know Chemical at least knows the, the range. And so does Junk, he knows approximately my age. You guys definitely didn't know that it was my birthday in February, though. Yeah, age reveal at 5,000 subs. Good. Good idea. Push me up to 5,000 subs. So that people I contact for uh, review samples, they aren't like, Yeah, we're not interested, thanks. That's really, that's that's a heartbreaker there. They look at your channel and they're like, yeah, no. We would rather not even spend 20 bucks sending you something. <laughs> oh, damn it. Get out of there. Vero is the cheater. You know what I was thinking of doing? You guys can tell me if this is a cool idea or not. So I wanted to make, uh, let's say five. Okay, I wanted to make five t-shirts. Simple electronics t-shirts, five of them, only five. Uh, maybe, okay, six, six. So I keep one for me and then I raffle off the other five and then never ever make that design ever again so at some point there's gonna be five original maybe autographed if you guys care enough five original simple electronics t-shirts and never any more of that style ever what do you guys think of that you guys think that's cool or do you think that's that's kinda lame because I think it's cool, so it might happen either way, but what do you guys think?
That's a pretty valid guess, uh, Vero, but uh, I don't know. It could be younger than 10. Who knows? I have a youthful appearance. Uh, excuse me, have you ever stepped on an SMD barefoot? I guess a dip hurts more, but whatever. You get what I mean. You get what I mean. Also, I guess the birds don't die when they try to eat SMD components. They're all lead-free now, anyways. Dean, you think it's cool? Well, just so you know, sucking up will not win you a t-shirt. It will win you some affection, though. I do like sucking up. People who suck up, not the other way around. I think, anyways, either way, I think it's cool. So it's probably gonna happen. And um, the graphic will be designed by none other than Verowak herself because she's already sent me the vector drawings for my logo and stuff. So there you go. <clears throat> Should I get some uh, tweezers? Maybe. Oh, I think you misunderstand. These uh, these T-shirts will not be for sale. They'll only be only be for like the special giveaway event. You know what, guys? I'll tell you this now. If uh, if this idea doesn't go through by the time I have five thousand subs, I will do it for five thousand subs. So there. No, you already <laughs> you already made me the graphics. Just have to put it on a t-shirt now. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So if I don't if I haven't done it, if it's not been done by 5000 subs, that'll be my 5000 sub celebration. You'll get a t-shirt, you know, raffled off one of 5. Uh, one of six in the world, but one of five that will be not in my possession, basically. And, uh, yeah, you get to pick your size and whether you want it autographed or not. I don't know why you'd want it autographed, but whatever. It's your t-shirt. And then never again will that design be used. Well, you see, uh, my Patreon people, they will probably get something like more entries you know what I mean like they'll get like if everyone in like let's say I do a contest where you have to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment for every comment left you'll get one you know your name in the draw once but my patreon might get I don't know 10 or 20 entries no charge right like because they already pay Something like that. My Patreons are good people. I have to reward them somehow. A lot of them, you know what? You know what's actually cool about my Patreons? My, uh, my Patreons, I asked them if uh, what I was giving them as rewards, which is just early access, but sometimes it's not that early. I asked them if it's enough or if they want more stuff, and they said they don't even want rewards. They're just They're just happy to help, which is... They're so amazing. Have a good night, uh, Verowak. Have fun at work tomorrow. And uh, no, she's not a electronics enthusiast. She is a uh, gaming streamer. And I would say she's in the top 0.5% uh, of streamers playing one of the hardest games out there, which is They Are Billions. She's one of the best. Personally, I would say she's the best because uh, she does 
great great work in the game while still paying attention to her uh, her chat but uh, whatever she has different opinions on who's better oh she also has a uh, painting channel though an art channel called Vero Art there we go hopefully these solder dags don't uh, ruin stuff okay so we have two resistors here, 470K and 10K, another 470K down here, so two 470Ks. I might do a special edition t-shirt for Patreons. That's a possibility. Who knows? Like like I said, guys, nothing is set in stone. I do uh, really appreciate my Patreons. So certainly, when I think of uh, when I think of things to do, I have them in mind first. But um, you know, they're important. The viewers are important. Everybody's important in this whole thing. The least important person here is me, let's just be clear. Because I'm just the monkey behind the camera. How's it going, Trent? And you know who's uh, very important right now? People who are hitting uh, like, the thumbs up on this stream, to tell YouTube to send more people this way. Okay, I'm really sorry you guys can't see this, but it's uh, 474. So that's four seven and four zero, so four hundred and seventy K. These are tiny. Also I'm gonna inspect the legs here, make sure they're all Yeah, okay. Not pretty solder, but no solder bridging. That's good. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. I'm actually having fun streaming, so if you guys like this, make sure to let me know that you want more streams. Actually, you know what would be helpful? If you told me what time of day, preferably in Eastern time, that you would prefer streams to happen at. So maybe I get an idea of people's schedules, so then I'll have a better idea when I should try to stream. That's the, uh, that's the bad part about streaming, right? Is you guys have to be available. You guys go watch the, 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 the VOD. That's not quite the same, isn't it? Here comes the 470K. That is soldered on. Resistor is not hot enough. Need to get this hot enough to actually solder. There we go. I have to check that with the in video hints to uh, get people to subscribe. Yeah, I guess e evenings, but evenings in what time zone though? Everyone's in different time zones. Because my evenings here, like right now, uh, it is 9.40 p.m. Eastern time. That's my time. And you know what? I really like streaming. Uh, I may make this happen more and more often. And uh, like I've already told some people, I might just start streaming uh, video games on Twitch as well. Very separate. And, and I'm thinking Twitch streaming because I don't think that my audience would appreciate 
me playing video games for the most part, so that's why I would be on Twitch and not on YouTube. But on YouTube, I would just stream electronics. Just a bunch of stuff that I like doing, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't know when the... You know what? I, I can't wait for the world to be normal. Uh, simply because, always, this time of year, I get excited for uh, fishing season restarting. Um, I don't even go fishing a lot. I just, uh, at the beginning of the season, I start uh, start wanting it, and then turns out my summer's too busy for me to go fishing anyways. The uh, Twitch name, I think it's the same. It's uh, Simple Electronics YT. Has the YT because it's specifically YouTube. Maybe I should make a new Twitch account, but whatever. I think it's fine. I don't know if I'll do like like Twitch streaming won't be my main gig. I really like YouTube. I'm a big fan of YouTube, but I think for gaming. Twitch is better. I don't know. I don't know. Could be wrong. But you guys, I'll be streaming. I, I will be streaming this as a priority, though. Video games will only be on Twitch when I feel like I won't want to be playing video games, but I shouldn't be lazy. You know what I mean? Play video games and be productive at the same time. But we'll see. I'm probably going to be uh, working on people's cars starting very soon anyways. Because uh, it is summer tire season. It's just starting. So when the world calms down a bit and people need their summer tires back on, I'll be busy at work. Uh, Nova Scotia is the east coast of Canada. And uh, you, if you ever have a chance to go visit, I would say go visit. There's no place quite like it. People there are so friggin' nice. It was hilarious. Like, just incredible. I actually want to live in Nova Scotia. I wish I, wish I lived there, but uh, there's no work there. The Maritimes, the East Coast of Canada, they take a lot of our um, unemployment uh, program dollars simply because a lot of their um, their work there is very seasonal, like fishing. You can't fish 365 days a year commercially. But housing is cheaper, the lifestyle seems a lot more relaxed love it love to live there uh, cool I've always been intrigued with Nova Scotia New Brunswick Newfoundland and is there one other yes Prince Edward Island Yeah, no, no, I know there's no work anywhere, but I mean, most, wh when the world is normal, uh, Nova Scotia is not exactly the employment capital of the world. It's a little bit uh, upsy and downsy. But I personally love it. I love Nova Scotia. We went to visit and I fell in love with the place. Um, I told my wife I wanted to move there, but unfortunately I got a, well, I guess fortunately I have a decent job here so yeah when I get back to work that is it's unfortunate because I have right now which, which this is this will sound stupid such a first world thing to say but um, I work I can work anytime I want even right now in this crisis I can work full-time in the dream job that I wanted when I was 16 years old but the job that I really want right now uh, is so tenuous that's the college professor job that 
if I wanted full time, like and I do want full time, uh, I probably have to be on a wait list for like ten years to get it. It is not so. Like I really wish I could be a full time professor. That would be, that would be my, my ideal. But it's not gonna happen. In the next, you know, it may never happen, but it will definitely not happen in the next couple years. Um, it may happen in the next five to ten years, but it may never happen. Who knows? So for now, I get to teach people and learn myself on YouTube, which is sort of like the the the, the in the middle ideal. Does that make sense? Like. It's like sort of like the, the halfway ground, except YouTube doesn't really pay. <laughs> That's the only thing. Can't pay my bills with YouTube. Pico, I promise you, I promise you that if I do a meetup on the East Coast, where I get to see everyone, all my fans, fans on the East Coast, I don't know if you guys are really fans. I, I find it weird that some people like watching my channel. It's still a little bit odd, right? I'm not used to being a... Uh, I don't know, quote unquote popular, I guess. But if I do a meetup on the East Coast, I will bring you a shawarma. No guarantees it'll be still good once uh, once I get down there because it is a 13 hour drive. Yeah, I don't know what adjunct professor really means, but I am a uh, contract professor and my job always depends on like what kind of work they need me for some semesters it's nothing like the like let's say they didn't have enough uh, student intake then they just say well sorry no contracts for you and sometimes they need me for like a buttload of courses so it's a little messed up right now it's very tenuous but it is the job I was born to do I'm sure of it I'm like 100% sure of it so so there's that which one's a long leg inside so these holes are not drilled quite big enough these LEDs have a large knuckle on them and I'm having trouble getting it through the hole. Yeah, I don't know what a shawarma is going to taste like once it's been sitting in the car for 13 hours, but I do know that if you put it in the fridge, because my, my wife, uh, she can't eat a whole shawarma plate because um, she's a lightweight, but um, when I uh, when I come down, I'll bring you one. When I put it in the fridge, it's still good. So right now, I can work as many hours as I want at the uh, at the garage, at the at the the dealership. However, there's no work; nobody's bringing their cars in, and I'm uh, I'm paid flat rate, which means I'm play I'm, I'm paid the same for the job, no matter how much time it takes. So it also means that if there is no work to do, they're not paying me. So I can stand there all day, but they're not paying me. So I don't go in because why would I, would I want to risk getting the virus for no pay, you know? Um, the college, however, so right now I'm supposed to be developing, we have a new course starting on uh, in June. Well, yeah, probably not anymore, but we're supposed to have a new course starting in June. And they are paying me a consultancy fee to develop that course for them however since everyone's trying to learn how to teach their regular courses from home the staff that is supposed to be making contracts and stuff they're too busy so they're I don't have a contract so right now I'm supposed to be doing the course development which I am doing but they're not paying me because they haven't drafted a contract yet so yes, right now I'm not getting paid at all. YouTube is actually right now my main my main source of income. So 
So that's uh, that's a little bit messed up, but uh, not not to worry. I'm not in panic mode yet. Um, we already called the bank and said, "Hey, uh, you know how uh, on the news the prime minister said that you guys would be working with clients? Yeah, we're we're not we're not gonna be paying mortgage this month." <laughs> and they're like, "Okay, that's fine. Next month though, <laughs> we'll, we'll see." But uh, so yeah. So, so if you have stuff to teach for free, like, uh, I don't know, sort of like what I'm doing for electronics here, you should probably start a YouTube channel. Um, there's so much to learn. I, I am a, of the belief that information should be free. And so it's great that the college is willing to, uh, to pay me to do it. But I also want to do it for free. So that's why I have a YouTube channel to learn electronics and to teach it along, along as you know as I go along. Um, but I have been talking to uh, especially junk from work, and uh, pile of stuff and another maker and kind of in my circle of friends there, that I want to do an automotive channel. So I may start an automotive channel as well. The only thing is the logistics for an automotive channel is way different. I don't have a shop to, sh to shoot in like South Main does, right? So I will, I can teach bench con concepts like the stuff that I teach the students, but a lot of what I teach is also practical hands-on. So it's not, doesn't translate very well to working on a bench, right? C programming is is cool. Like Arduino is in C, isn't it? It's like modified C. It's not C++, but some sort of C-based language. I understand that Python and whatever is more I guess relevant today, but it is what it is. Yeah, but Scott, your uh, your first program you wrote was that the best program you've ever written? And if the answer is yes, then I don't really know how to continue this argument. But speaking to the public takes time. It takes it's like a it's like any other skill. You've got to learn to do it and do it, and you learn by doing. You know, so like for example, go look at my first videos. They're terrible. My newer videos are better. They're not great, but they're better. They're they're nowhere near like let's say Dave Jones level, right? But he's got you know he's got like a freaking two thousand hours over me. You know, you gotta you gotta practice. It all comes with practice. I I believe that we can all do anything we set our minds to, literally. But you have to practice actively you know what I mean there's a great uh, TED talk about the uh, you know how I think that lead fell into my into my empty beer can that's interesting uh, you know how the there's the this uh, this saying that it takes uh, 10,000 hours to master something well there's a TED talk talking about the fact that it only takes like a hundred hours to learn something good enough and um, the guy I believe uh, practiced whatever his point was the amount of hours that was in his point he practiced the ukulele for all those hours and he stopped shy of his hundred hours and he performed a song live on stage at the TED talk which marked his 100th hour of practice or whatever it was. That's really cool. Like the fact that you can get good enough in 100 hours and it takes 10,000 to master. I love it. So I say, if, uh, if you got knowledge and, and you're willing to share it, give it a shot, make a video. And uh, 
you know, you can tell me in the comment section that I uh, that I told you to make a video, and there's your video, and I'll go watch it. And I'll give you creative criticism if you ask me for it. I won't give it to you just out of the blue, because some people don't want to hear it. But you can do it. And you know what? If uh, 10 people watch your video, then that's 10 people that have learned something new. Good stuff. By the way, if you go into another maker's channel, go tell them, go bug them, to make more website development videos. Because he is fantastic at making websites. And he's got so much knowledge locked in that noggin. He just needs a little bit of a push, I think, to make videos uh, once the world returns to normal. Well, I hope I inspire people. I really do. And plus, I don't know if this is true because uh, my knowledge of programming language is terrible, as you saw in this channel. But I heard that um, when you learn a new language, let's say it's uh, a programming language, mind you, uh, let's say it took you uh, 100 hours to learn that language, to learn a new language after your first one takes you like one-fifth of the time because you already have like the the base knowledge how programming works then you just change the syntax well I don't know Scott you should see my comment section when I show my programming they don't seem to agree <laughs> that I do that I do great but you know what I mean like I I, I get it done I don't, uh, I'm, I'm no expert. Actually, you should see, I, I scrapped, uh, or nearly scrapped, I don't know if I've decided to scrap it yet, an NRF24 L01 video, because for some reason I just can't get her to chooch. So I will, uh, I'll have to grab some example code and play with example code, but, uh, Oh, did I, oh that, that, that was wrong. It's not the right, not the right cap. Forty-seven. That was almost devastating. I've uh, I've started learning Python. But I think the problem with me and learning Python is that I have no practical application for Python. Now I have a programming project in mind, which I have to speak to somebody who's good at programming. But um, the problem when you're in, in my stage where I am with programming is that I don't know, I don't even know enough to know which questions to ask. You know what I mean? Like I'm so basic at uh, programming that I feel like any question I ask is not maybe not even the right question to get to where I'm achieving. So I'll have to get, I think I'll have to pay someone to sit down 15 minutes and to coach me into where I need to go and then I'll start learning from there. Yeah, I started learning Python when, um, what, what's that website again? It was, um, Code Academy. Code Academy used to be totally free and I started their Python program, but I think my big problem was I didn't set, you know, 10 hours aside in, in, uh, in a couple days to do it. So when I had a couple, like two hours or so to do it, I would try it, but then I would forget a week later when I had another two hours, I would forget all the stuff I learned. So 
that's a that's a me problem mind you it's not it has nothing to do with python but that's the reason why i don't know python today nice it's good that he has a python has python content but see i i don't even know okay so yeah i have see I, i'm not even sure how to explain myself as to why I'm not still pursuing Python. That's a weird thing. Like, let's say I have a, a project in mind. I wouldn't even know what language I would need for that for that project, you know? It's a weird thing. Yeah, I have I have a Raspberry Pi. You know what I have too? I have this guy. Um, apparently this is more powerful than the Raspberry. So I have Raspberry Pi 2 and this is more powerful. This is an Orange Pi PC 1.2 and um, I have these things but yet I don't really play with them. I need to get into that. Um, MicroPython. Does, um, does the ESP32 run MicroPython? I kind of feel like it does. And is MicroPython the same syntax, syntax as Python? These are the questions that keep me up at night. I think we're done. I'm going to have a quick inspect here. Take a look here. Once I inspected it, then I'll have you guys put your bets in. Looks like I have a small solder bridge, but I don't think it's actually solder solder. No, it's just the junk from the uh, from the solder sucker. There we go. Okay. Looks pretty good. This guy have a wiggle? No, no wiggle. Okay, I feel pretty confident. Put your bet, put your bets in. Yeah. So okay. Well, sorry. One one quick story before uh, before I power this up. So my wife, uh, Verowak, she was in here earlier. She's an engineer, and uh, therefore she has engineering textbooks. Now me the mechanic I have sort of hands-on experience I would say like honestly I'm not I'm not those one of those people that say that oh mechanics are better than engineers because they can actually fix things har 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 no that's that's not it we have completely different types of knowledge I understand that so one day uh, and and it's well known I think amongst my group of friends that math and I do not get along so one day I pick up one of our math textbooks. I think we were doing cleaning or whatever. And uh, and I look inside the math textbook and there well it's an engineering textbook and there's like a graph that sort of goes the, the graph sort of goes like this. Okay, so there's the there's the graph and it goes like this like this and then like this sort of like that and I'm like that's interesting that graph because that graph is sort of like when you uh, tighten a bolt as you tighten a bolt up to its torque spec so let's say the torque specs about here so the bolt gets tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter up to the torque spec because you're actually stretching the bolt that's what you're doing a bolt is a spring and you keep going past the torque spec and eventually you keep turning the bolt but it doesn't get any tighter and so it plateaus and then eventually it fails catastrophically and I tell my wife that's funny and she's like 
what are you looking at? And she looks at the textbook and I had just opened the page on a, um, a metal strain. This is, this is the gate. The chart was literally explaining the strain on metal. And she's like, yeah, that's, that's just how metal tends to fail. And so I had felt it with my hands. I knew this chart just from feeling but they learn this shit in school. And I'm not saying that my way is better or that this way is better. I'm saying maybe no matter what your profession, you need a little of both. That's, that's my story. Yeah, AVE did something similar to that, actually. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, this was a few years ago um, when it happened to me. It happened. It was like an epiphany, right? And then I realized, um, and also it, it, like she showed me some math stuff, where like equations were simply the way that something reacted on a graph, like a three D plane, and for me math was too abstract to understand I think if they would have shown me graphs like that I would have got it more but it's not how everyone gets it but anyways here we go so um, we've got some people that have faith in me and some people that do not so let's see oh I don't think that's supposed to happen I think it's supposed to be just one but anyways let's give it a shot There we go, first try. We got number four. Pretty good, it freaking works. So, um, all right, so so in the chat, this is one through 10. Let's see, uh, put, put your numbers down. You have, uh, you guys got 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two one no more bets bets are off let's see what's the number I don't know if the latency on the stream is actually enough number two no BW's you got it wrong so I guess this is the last um <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I guess the stream was a little bit uh, a little bit delayed for the chat. But I guess this is the end of the stream. So um, if you guys have questions for me, I'll spend uh, the next couple of minutes answering them. And then I'm going to be heading to bed because I'm an old man. Hint, hint for the uh, guess my age challenge. Um, so yeah, if you have questions, put them in the chat. And I'll do my best to answer them. And then I'm going to bed. This thing's pretty cool. I like these kits. And it works first try. Let's look at that. Maybe that's what I'll do when I when I make the t-shirts. I'll put uh, I'll put ten names around here and then hit this five times. Maybe that's a good idea. I do want to make shirts, and I think it'll be the 5,000 subscriber mark. So if you guys want to promote my channel and uh, get uh, get me up to 5,000 ASAP. Hmm. Maybe I can, like, reserve some. Uh, chemical, I don't want to give away information. Because I think Vero's age is easier to find than mine. Um, so the my specialty in my teaching gig is fuel and electrical systems and diagnostics. Mostly electrical though. So uh, sensors, computers, wiring, um, circuits, uh, emissions, systems, 
um, scanner diagnostics, oscilloscopes diagnostics, stuff like that. That's what, uh, not only is that what I understand the best, and so I feel like I do the best job of teaching that content, but it's also what I enjoy the most, so there's that. So, yeah, that's the stuff I like doing. And uh, it's the stuff that when I get a job like that at the shop, at the garage, at the dealership, it is the most interesting to me. So, yeah, works out the best. I love automotive. Actually, I love cars. I hate automotive. The business side of it's kind of shit, to be honest. All the customers want everything done for free and yesterday. But uh, the cars themselves, they don't anger me. Well, I guess there are no questions. You may not need to replace your catalytic converter chemical. Um, always start by the cheapest, work your way to the most expensive. So, a, um, I'm guessing you're getting a P0420, a P0421, uh, P0422, or P0423 code, which is catalyst efficiency below threshold, that can be caused by other things. So um, it could be a lazy oxygen sensor. So your primary, what, what it does is your primary oxygen sensor, so you have your uh, engine, primary oxygen sensor, catalytic converter, secondary oxygen sensor. And so your computer looks at the primary versus the secondary to see what's changed in between the two. If the change isn't enough, it means your catalytic converter is not doing enough. However, if your secondary O2 sensor or sorry, if your primary O2 sensor is lazy and thus um, not changing the zero crossings, not crossing the zero enough, then your computer may think that the, that the cat's doing nothing because it set, resembles the secondary O2 sensor signal. So we've got to be careful with that. Another thing is exhaust leaks. If you have any exhaust leaks in your system at all, get them fixed and see if the code goes away because um, it, you could be drawing in fresh air through the um, through the exhaust leak in the uh, in the, the space between the exhaust pulsations which will actually um, cause your secondary O2 sensor to read a lot more oxygen than it should be. So anyway, it's just a thought. But then again, GM pickup trucks, very common for them to have bad catalytic converters either way so it is what it is but all right so I hope you guys enjoyed the stream I know I sure had a blast um, and so I'm gonna try to make these a little bit more constant I'm probably gonna pick an evening uh, to stream in uh, I don't have any experience with in cylinder pressure transducers However, I know exactly how they work and, and what they do, and I believe in them. Uh, I just think they're a little bit out of my price range for the type, types of diagnostic I do. I do very few um, mechanical engine diagnostics. Uh, I work at Honda, so when our engines are bad, they still run perfectly, they just burn oil. So I do not have a pressure t transducer, although, I think we just ordered one at the college, so I'll be I'll be able to play with it uh, when everything comes back to normal. But all right, um, I guess that's it for the stream. I'm gonna pick a night of the week. I might do a you know what I might do a poll on uh, my community section, um, asking you guys which night of the week works best, and I'll put the poll also on Patreon. And uh, if you guys don't mind, hit the, the thumbs up on this live stream so that uh, YouTube knows you guys enjoyed it and didn't waste two hours of your time. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to try to get a video up this week as well. And yeah, I know there's a live boot. It's not quite the same, 
I, I do I have a, a laptop that I need to um, I need to fix the graphics card on it long story so I may switch that over to Linux anyways we'll see so you guys have a good night and I'll catch you in the next one